seven grams. So talking dog. I've been having some late, um, I'm just up vibing. Um, I've been having some, um, long conversations with, with my oldest son. Um, the, the conversations and then I, sometimes I listen to him and he listen to me and when I talk to my um, my brother also um, the conversations they are the same and when you talk to a family member who you I don't see my son or my brother one in Atlanta my brother in Atlanta my son is in um, Orlando I'm in New Orleans and um, I was kind of down by by um, some people that I want to see, I, I I don't see because of distance. And um, sometimes you you want to you want to be around the people that you fuck with, but I think it's all by design. For now, you know, it's like feel like it felt like suffering when you. Um, you don't want to leave a place and you was forced to. It could feel like suffering. When you got to like, even when I was looking for a job um, years ago, I had to put down the weed. It felt like suffering. Um, I said, and I listened to Rod Hayes and he talked about this shit supposed to be hard. And I said, damn, that's, I was on the phone with my brother and I, I remember I was uh, waiting for my mom, um, this happened like a year ago, I was waiting for my apartment to open up. And I just spazzed down on the phone with him, like, not at him, I love him. I was um, releasing, like, I don't want to be testing no more, this shit got me going, you know, fuck this, my, my apartment ain't ready. I'm, I had to sleep in my car for like, um. Um, a few days I stayed in the hotel and I was like fuck the weather was nice I was living in Orlando a nicer city than where I'm from I got like a few days in the hotel but like the last two nights or some shit I slept in you know I was like fuck that man I just, cause I was working so long it didn't make no sense to get in the hotel room right so I spent I was just like going off about you know, being tested, I don't want no more test. Ancestors, don't give me no more, you know, nobody, don't, whoever the fuck it is, I just went off and he let me do it. And um, I appreciated that. I could have been on, the, I ain't had to be on the phone with him. I could have just spazzed out. Me, you know, I mean, I, I would have did that anyway, but by me doing that in front of him, I felt like a bitch and I told him and I said, man, you know, Damn, man, I sound like a bitch saying I don't want to be tested. And um, it, it pushed me. It pushed me. And I, I also explained to my son and him that I'm not, I'm, I had to move back home. And New Orleans, I love New Orleans. It's just, um, you can could, you could outgrow places. And I outgrow this place, but I, um, my mama got a property, um, my auntie had passed, she got the house now, um, a house in Baton Rouge, you know, gave me a house, um, so I'm in a position where I was living easy in a big easy but I wanted 
wanted to. I wanted. I, I, I'm glad I, I moved away, and I moved away before. But um, out there, I was working long hours. I was, a, you know, I was a manager for um, a big ass building, and I was working like 16 hours. And I, I was, um, I worked long hours before, but I was. I had an obligation. I mean, being a manager, nobody showed, you gotta stay. Nobody come, you gotta be there. So, and you had to make sure the shit was ran right. So it, it was great. And it, and I don't regret having to come back home because my mom getting older. Because I, I, I wanted to, I was feeling a piece of me I knew I was supposed to be out there. And I, 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 a piece of me was missing because my, my mom, um, close, I got close to my mom over time. And um, when I moved back home, I told my brother and my son, you know, I ain't on my edge no more. I'm not living on my edge like Trap, trap would say. And um, he also, and they, they both also let me express that. And then by somebody who was close to me stealing from me recently, not even a week ago. And all I did was help this brother. And some kind of way he got my phone and told my mama, I'm on drugs, some all kind of shit. Man, my mama looked at me. And you could tell somebody on drugs, but all he did was took who he who he was and told my mama this, cause he stole from me, he stole my gun, a nine, and like um, hundred some dollars, you know. But it was the principle and the fact that this person did that. It, 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 it didn't hurt me like it, 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 it would have, but I knew we're in a different time right now. You're going to see the ugly shit right now. And I ain't spoke to my brother. I spoke to my son about this, told him what happened. And because his birth, my brother's birthday was on um, a night. And um, once when he, when he with his family, I leave him alone. Cause I know that's important to him. I'm, I'm his family too, but that's his immediate, that's his wife and kids. And then, you know, I got family. You know, my mama downstairs, you know what I'm saying? Right now, my beautiful goddess. And she just turned 75. And I, the people that I got around me, great. You know, I got rid of all the, I guess the last, the, the guy who stole from me. I ain't gonna see no name. Cause I had to forgive him. Cause I wanted to kill him. Told him that. But I tripped on like, damn man, all I did was help. You know, I never really stole from nobody, bro. And like fucking over nobody. Even in my sickest moments. I said, this brother got told my mama this shit. And I'm trip, not tripping because this shit wasn't true. I was on, I said, mama, you know, um, six years ago, yeah. Seven years ago, yeah. Um, babe, I ain't, right now I'm sober. I'm not even smoking right now. I'm not even smoking my drug of choice with marijuana. So, I said, damn, a person would do that. And I helped his mama move, his sister move, and they ain't gave me no, like, all they gave me was barely gas money. And it it hurted me for a moment. For three days, I was upset. I said, man, all I did was help people. I'm tired of my, and then he told my mama this fucking lie. And then it was, I'm telling you the story because family is important. And what you go through is important, but it's, 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 it's important that you see why you went through it. And I say, yeah, I, I was supposed to get rid of him. This is the guy that stole from me. And I didn't. I kept, I kind of, I, I told my brother this, you know, I backed up off him. But I let him back in through his mama because I helped his mama move. And I helped his sister move. And shout out to them, good people. 
is what his, her son did to me. And it made me just look at shit in a different perspective and I understand that hurt people hurt people. And we in a stage where you gotta, you can't have people that's not like you around you. Even you gotta work, be conscious of the access, even through his mama, it was still his mama. I let him back in just for a, a fucking two days it took us to do this. And then my mama told me on the phone, said the gun is gone. You feel me? And I'm right next to the nigga. And for a person to do that to somebody who never did nothing to him, it's like, damn, man, what the fuck? But that's the time we in. So if somebody been through that, you know, it's a, not a loss, cause I was like, that was, uh, cause I got those guns, you know, just in case. I ain't no gun toter, but it was just for the protection and the house. I don't even ride with no gun. You guys, my brother, but he carried guns. And he, I mean, he don't even carry that much no more. Cause once you step out into your purpose and you know who you are, of course you, you know, you know you can get it like anybody else, but it's like, you have this, Savoir fair about yourself Well uh, Man a fuck nigga can't kill me Even if you kill me You know shout out to Offset You know a God never die And So if there's anybody that was hurt By a friend You know it's not a loss It's a lesson Cause I took a little time To go through the process And I knew that But I had to really grasp that Again I had to go through the waters of, 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 of the murky waters of understanding that. And um, I'm glad I came to the realization that hurt people just hurt people and I already knew that, but you can't have holes. Like you gotta watch, be more selective who you help. And um, I, shout out to my oldest boy. You know, I love my, my youngest son, but he just 13. Um, I could talk to him, but some things I can't go, cause he's, you know, he he, ha he don't have a, like experiences like the other one do, and I'm, and um, my big son gave me great advice, and um, I love both of them. Um, shout out to my brother, shout out to my two sons, but um, my son Isaiah, um told me some great advice and I appreciate him. And um, I value family over a lot of things. And we gotta understand that we are, you know, we're being pushed and things not gonna be comfortable. And you gotta be uncomfortable, you gotta be comfortable being uncomfortable. And I told my, my both of them that, my brother and my son. And um, you gotta expect that those moments will be, will happen and Go we'll through it more gracefully. So, to all the real ones doing um, real work, all love to y'all. Don't follow nobody. Follow yourself. I hate that. When you subscribe to somebody, you gotta follow them. Like, it's all by design. You never go within. You never trust yourself. This time, I'm spending alone more. And I'm going within. And... I have a deeper level of understanding of um, a lot of things. Shout out to 19 Teen Keys and um, Yaki Trap. These guys um, are great people. And then shout out to my damn self for getting off drugs and being able to look my mom and my mama saw I wasn't on drugs. So shout out to my damn self for Loving myself and, and treat myself better. Love yourself. Um, that's very important. Whitney Houston is my f favorite R&B singer of all time. She used to always say, can I be myself? Can I be me? And um, 
I, I see a lot of similarities in Harlan and myself, you know, um, just, just being, not loving yourself. And then I was around it that she came up with this, that she sang that song. And at the end, we, we gotta be the ones who carry those songs and, 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 and actually love ourselves. And um, shout out to Whitney Houston too, bro. Whole family, bro. Cause she been through some shit. Me, my love, nine, and my love, few hundred dollars ain't shit compared to what she lost. So we all lost. So shout out to anybody who lost. And shout out to my soul tribe. Wisdom night two. Um, that's Rise, Remedy H. The Elder, Baba, I love you, man. Still we rise, seven grams. Soul talking in the dark. Let's go.